Re representing the British Lions is, a, you know, is, is, the, is the absolute pinnacle. A young lad, you know, aged eight, you know, I went to see a, a Scottish rugby trial. They used to have these things years gone, gone by. And, um, you know, I, I set my stall out in my own mind that I wanted to play for Scotland, but I was just captivated by the Lions. I, got, I took a phone call from uh, a chap called Brian Meek, who was a journalist with the, the Daily Express. And, you know, he opened with, well, what about that then? And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, well, you're picked to go. So that's how I found out. It was a, a phone call from a, you know, a, a journalist who was a good, good guy. You know, for myself to get picked for the Lions was, a, was you, know, a, you know, the ultimate accolade. But you go on tour and then you find you're not in the test team initially. And, and you begin to doubt yourself as a player. And so it was important for me personally to, to sort of get my way into the test team, which I managed to do. 1983 when I played, it was very much an amateur game. We had one coach compared to now, no supporters. I think there might be 10 or 20 supporters, whereas now there's five or six coaches. There's, there's a 25,000 plus supporters. And um, the, the whole brand is, is so much more powerful than it, than it was in times gone by but it, it makes you even more proud to have been involved um, because, you know, it just gets stronger and stronger. Um, it's just a wonderful thing to have been part of. P personally, I think I, I was a slow starter and there was a chap called Peter Winterbottom who played many, many times for England. And <clears throat> he was a bit younger, uh, but he was, he was only 21 and I was 25, but he was a fantastic rugby player. So we were competing and he edged me out for the first test, which was, you know, absolutely understandable. I think I, I did start slowly, but I, I, I got up to a decent uh, level of, uh, of playing by the time of the third test. And that's when I, when I got picked. In fact, we were picked together, which was, which was great. Um, but yeah, pulling on the red jersey for the first time is, is really quite quite something. You know, you, you, you never really lose that tingling of excitement. But isn't it fantastic? Because the Lions mean so much to all these countries. You know, you know as a player, you only get the chance every four years and it's quite tough to be on top of your game um, in four years' time. You know, I, th I think we were we were very lucky when we played. It wasn't, it wasn't professional, so we still had quite a lot of fun. Uh, you saw a lot of the country. We played a lot of golf, there's a lot of shooting and fishing and all these extra things. Um, but we, we still got the chance to be called British Lions players and, and I think that, that is very special. But playing with people from the other home unions is, is just fantastic. You know, the opportunity to, to sh share a bit of fun, but train hard, play hard together was, was just very, very special. The, the sort of two things I would take from it, you know, the chance to go back to New Zealand and play the top team in the world, but also the chance to go with people from four different countries.